We're here with Jamie McKeown from Angarda Shikana um, Community Garda. Hello, how are you? Yes, I'm Community Police and I've been um, attached to Navan Garda Station Community Police for the past four years. We do, we work very closely with Flexibus. It's a great service to have. Um, we ourselves, as the community members, go around on Flexibus maybe once a week and speak to the people that is out far in the country that might never actually get into a Garda station. Um, we let them know that if they do need any form signed that they can actually, we maybe bring the stamp out or we'll bring the form in for them. Um, as I said, we work closely with Flexibus. Um, their service is very good. Every year we have a Meals on Wheels Christmas party and fair play to Flexibus, they actually allow us to use their bus and Gardy drive the bus and go and collect um, the people and bring them in for a Christmas party. So again, it's people that might never get to leave their houses from one end of the year to the next. So it's a very good service to have. Right, right. Oh yeah, and we've spoken to a few today that, that are um, benefited from it every day. But also the, the community is, is facing a lot of changes now. I know what a, um, it's government policy, they're closing some of the smaller Garda stations. People are, feel more vulnerable while I know you have um, cars that's able to, to to go around the areas, but people are feeling a bit more vulnerable in some of the more rural communities. Yes, that is right. And I say, when we do go around on the bus, it's great for the people to know that we do actually know that there is homes out, houses out in the middle of the country. That, as I say, when I am going around then um, patrolling the area, I will actually go out to them houses because I know, like, there's some of the roads there that you mightn't think there's a house on. So it's great for us to know and to pass it on to our colleagues that don't forget about the people out in the country and do go out and patrol around their area. I and mean, when they see a guard of car, it's a great peace of mind for them. But also today, there's a lot of people here in the shopping centre in Navan, so at least you're a face behind um, you know, a very worthwhile community service. People might say, oh yeah, there's a community guard, but I never see them. You're here today to talk to them and, and they're able to relate to you and know that you will be in their community at some time. Yes, that is it. And it's, again, it's all community police is about putting a, a name to a face and to know a guard that if they do ring up, that they aren't speaking to 10 different guards, that they have, as example, guard of Jamie McKeown. And even today alone, we're after receiving two passport forms, maybe to sign and stamp and bring them back out. So as I say, like, some of their stations might not be open. So it's nice to know that they have a guard there, that we will, and we'll drop the form back out with them and when it's signed and stamped. Now, this is going out on MeTV.com, so if you want to maybe direct to the camera to appeal to a few people, some safeguards that they can, simple safeguards that they can do to themselves in their own homes um, in the lead up to Christmas. Yes, again, in the lead up to Christmas, do not forget about the bogus callers. Um, that is a main thing for ourselves. And again, don't answer your door to people. If you do feel that um, they are a bogus caller, we have our bogus caller cards that you can slip out um, through the letterbox to them. But if you do feel afraid, again, always dial 999 or 112 and we will be able to assist you any way we can. That's fantastic and it's great for people to know that that service is available and even though a station might be closed there's still resources there that people can contact in, in safety. Yes that is it and again we're always just a phone call away and if you do need anything remember you do have community police that covers all over um, Mead so if you just ring in and say where you're from a community police member will always get in contact with you. Well that's great news for the people living in rural county Mead. Thank you very much. No problem, thank you.